Now that we've decided on a topic or a focus for our year-long research project, it's time to go out and start looking for those sources of academic research that will build the foundation for our project. What is a foundational source? The foundational sources will be those sources which directly inspire your research question or your method selection for your project. So you might go out and find a few sources that uh, tend to be the, the framing for that particular topic. What have other researchers done in that field? And they might inspire your research question by providing you uh, with a gap that you may want to search, or they might inspire a research method that you choose to follow for your research project. Uh, pro tip, high scoring papers in AP research have anywhere from three to eight foundational texts, meaning these are the texts that are threaded throughout the body of the paper that they are constantly referenced to because they are the building blocks for this individual research project. So step one, how do I go and locate potential foundational sources? Step one, I'm going to look into the credibility of the author, the publication, and other related sources. So what does that look like? Well, we're going to start hopefully maybe on Google Scholar and EBSCO host, and we're going to take a look at uh, the history of this particular paper. Has it been cited by quite a few other people. If you're looking on Google Scholar, you can see the cited by number. Uh, might be good to look for numbers that are north of 50 in terms of cited by, because that indicates that this is a paper that other researchers have built their own foundation on. And then we're gonna take a look at the reputation of the author or authors. So we're gonna open up a new tab and we're gonna do a lateral search and see what we can find out about those researchers. Now, if you have a paper that has eight, nine, 10, researchers, you can stick to just looking at maybe the first three or four to get a sense of the reputation of those lead researchers. And then we're going to also open a new tab and we're going to take a look at the reputation of the individual publication, right? Good peer-reviewed academic sources are published in peer-reviewed journals. And if it's a credible publication, then there's probably going to be a web page or even a Wikipedia page about it. So if all three of those things align, I have an appropriate number of cited by, uh, I have good reputations uh, of authors who are associated with high quality institutions or research, and it's a credible publication, I have a potential foundational source. But we don't stop there. We're now going to move on to step two, and examine the relationship between this potential foundational source and other sources of information. Uh, where do I want to start with that? I want to take a look and see, is the concept or the information presented in this potential source something that is foundational to the study of this particular subject? Now, not everything has to be as foundational as the theory of relativity, but it could be something like a book or a publication that really sets the stage or frames the conversation on the subject. One of my favorite examples would be the book Emotional Intelligence by Daniel Goleman. It is the building block for all research into emotional intelligence. So take a look at your source. Is this something that has a long history of being a foundational block? Then let's take a look in the paper, particularly introduction and in the literature review, and find points of agreement between your potential source and other credible sources of information. Where do we see them agreeing with the ideas, concepts, and findings of other credible researchers? But don't stop there. We also want to look for those areas of potential disagreement with those other researchers. Uh, a paper that only agrees with the existing science isn't necessarily pushing the boundaries, and it might not create as many opportunities for you to identify a gap in the field. Those points of disagreement uh, are where researchers really stretch the boundaries of potential research, and that can create an opportunity for you to explore one of those points of disagreement. So if all of those things come together, now we have a potential foundational source. Once again, three to eight sources is our goal in trying to build the foundation of our year-long inquiry project.